Hello and welcome to another Am I How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we're gonna be talking all about torque wrenches. And we got our good friends from Snap-On here, and Glenn Kalnins is with Snap-On. Glenn, welcome, man. Come on in. How are you? Good, Tom. How are you? Thanks it, for having me today. It's nice to have you. Glenn is a first-time guy, so be nice to him. Don't be too rough on him. Um, you know, uh, Glenn, we are going to talk in-depth about torque wrenches and really what it is. So why don't you give us the best professional definition of torque for everybody? Simply put, Torque is rotational or turning force. The formula for torque is length times force. It can be measured in pounds or meters. Length times force. I know pi r squared, but I didn't. See, I should have learned that in math class. But what exactly does torque do? A lot of people really don't know. So bolts are designed to create a clamping force when torque is applied to the thread of fastener. The joint is pulled together, creating a clamping load as the fastener begins the stretching process. Okay, now, why is applying the proper amount of torque important? It really comes down to safety and performance. If it's incorrect, it can lead to stripped threads, premature loosening, or broken fasteners that can cause catastrophic failure. You, you want to make sure you set the proper amount of torque, don't you? Yes, absolutely. So a torque wrench is any device that applies a predetermined amount of torque to the fastener. It can be mechanical or electronic in design. A torque wrench always has some type of indicating device which lets the operator know when the correct torque has been achieved. It can be a brake feel, lights, clicks, gauges, or any combination of these. Before we get started, you got your PPE? I do, thank you. Let's do that. We've got to make sure that safety is always priority number one, so whatever the job calls for, make sure you're wearing the proper PPE. All right, now we have something unique. This is not your typical torque wrench because this is a CDI CompuTorque SG electronic torque wrench, and we're gonna actually torque a pillow block bearing to a shaft but see, we can actually set the amount of poundage that we need with this. This is a really interesting torque wrench right here. Tell us what we're gonna do. Yep, great question, Tom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first turn it on by pressing this on-off button. Okay. So we already have it preset to 66 inch pounds. Right. So as you begin the torquing process, you're gonna get a light bar that's gonna run here. And once you hit the specified torque at 66 inch pounds, these lights will turn green. You'll also hear an audible sound, right. and the handle will vibrate as well. So I got all three? That's correct. Okay, well, I wanna give it a shot. Can we do that? Absolutely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's give it a shot okay. here. Okay. Okay, you're gonna hold on to that now for yep. demonstration purposes. He's gonna hold that on while I do. Click that. I'm gonna start torquing. Okay, we can already see the first light that's over down there. There's three lights. I guess the next one probably should be, oh, wait a minute. There's the red light. What happened? What did I do? So you actually over torqued. And what you'll want to do is you'll actually want to back this out. Now you will always want to check what the manufacturer recommends in okay. terms of torque. Right. So some manufacturers may just have you back it out. Some may have you put in a brand new fastener. So always check what the manufacturer's spec is. What do you say we do this again? Let's go ahead and rotate it a little okay. bit and I'm gonna do it again. All right, right there, that's good. Great. Okay, so let's see if we can get this right because I wanna make sure that I get it right. I don't wanna over torque something there. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, I got a light already. There it goes. Yep. Okay, I'm good. Right. I heard the beep. Yes. I felt it. Yes. And it was good to go. Now that's very unique for something like that. So that really allows me to know three different ways aside from just the click right there. So if it's really noisy, let's say, for example, in, in the warehouse or whatever, that beep's gonna help me out. That's correct, but it'll also give you the visual where you can see the green light, mm -hmm. as well as the numbers uh, change on the LCD screen as well. Yeah, but I felt that shaking is good, so it's all properly torqued. That's correct. So when you select a torque wrench, there's many to pick from, so you always wanna make sure you're choosing the correct one for the application. Uh, how do I do that? I, I figured just only one torque wrench would do it. Well, the more critical the torque requirement, the more accurate the wrench should be. So you want to choose a torque wrench that is roughly twice the capacity of the torque being applied. For example, if you need a torque wrench for an application of 100 foot-pounds, choose a 200 foot-pound torque wrench. In general, the sweet spot of a torque wrench is between 40 and 80 percent of maximum scale. You want to avoid choosing a torque wrench that will be used at the very bottom of the scale as well as at the very top of the scale. How much torque do I need for this? No? I don't know. Okay, fine, I didn't know. <laughs> Sorry. They don't have a wrench for that one. Okay, now once you're done, what's the proper way to store your torque wrench? Because normally if I had one, I'd just throw it in my toolbox, but you don't want to do that with this That's one. That's correct. So with this torque wrench, it has an, uh, a button that you can push. Mm -hmm. It will also shut off automatically. You want to make sure you wipe it with a soft cloth. You want to put it in the case with a desk and pack in the manual. Make sure you keep it in a cool, dry place, and then you're done until the next time you need to use it. Well, that's awesome, Glenn. Thank you so much. Great information. Yep. Thanks for having me today. Glenn is with Snap-On. If you have any questions about anything you saw here today, just contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. They'll be able to help you out. You saw we had on our PPE. Make sure you wear that. It's, uh, 
It's always number one. That's safety for you. And if you have any uh, other questions, uh, you just go to mihowto.com. Uh, we can answer questions. You can see more videos. You can get the MI How To videos and also the Tom's Toolbox videos as well. Thanks for watching today. We'll talk later.